Welcome to the Weekly Bat. Welcome to the Weekly Bat for the week of August 17th to August 21st, 2020. Starting off the week with a brand new blog post from Brave's research and development team. Themis, Progressive Decentralization with Smart Contracts and Sidechains, Part 2. Here's a bit from the post. In the first blog of this series, we presented a straw man version, Straw Themis, of Themis. Themis is a decentralized ad platform designed by the Brave research team. We described, one, how a user is rewarded for the interactions with ads, and two, how an advertiser can verify the integrity of the billing and performance reporting of their ad campaigns. However, Straw Themis does not provide all of the properties we aim to achieve, particularly in terms of trust. The design of Straw Themis requires a centralized entity called the Campaign Manager, which is entrusted with the task of orchestrating the running of the underlying protocol. Moreover, there are no mechanisms to enforce or verify the integrity and validity of how the Campaign Manager orchestrates the protocol. Thus, users and advertisers alike need to take it on trust that their policies are respected when the payouts are calculated, a deficiency we tackle as the next stage of progressive decentralization. In this blog post, we present the full version of Themis. We explain how the problems mentioned above are addressed and how Themis could be used in the context of BAT. First, we introduce the technical concepts required to reason about the protocol. Next, we outline the full Themis protocol and each of its phases. We then discuss how BAT could be used to incentivize participants to perform useful work in the network and how misbehaving participants are challenged. In addition, we present an open source implementation of both client-side and smart contract logic for Themis. Finally, we discuss the scalability and performance of the protocol based on both client-side and end-to-end measurements in production-like environments. Up next, Brendan Eich, BAT and Brave CEO, was interviewed on Thinking Crypto. Here's a little episode description. Brendan Eich is an internet pioneer who created JavaScript in 10 days while working at Netscape. He then co-founded Mozilla and Firefox and is now the CEO and co-founder of Brave and the cryptocurrency Basic Attention Token, or BAT. Brendan talks about the benefits of using the Brave browser and how the Basic Attention Token can be earned. He also shares his thoughts on the future of the internet, blockchain, and the crypto market. There is a link to that interview in the weekly BAT blog post, of course. Up next, Win. Intel and Brave join forces to promote Intel Gamer Days 2020 and give away prizes from Brave and Intel all month long. Intel and Brave have come together again this year to promote Intel Gamer Days, an annual promotion to celebrate PC gaming with great deals and experiences from over 40 top retailers, technology providers, and game publishers. Following the success of the Intel Gamer Days 2019 campaign that ran via Brave ads through August of 2019. From now through the end of August 2020, Brave users in the United States will see Brave ads promoting Intel's annual Gamer Days promotion. Users are invited to take part in the fun by clicking on Intel Gamer Days ad notifications they receive while browsing and following the steps to publish a pre-canned tweet about the campaign. Each published tweet about Intel Gamer Days through a Brave ad counts as an automatic entry for a giveaway to win one of five daily swag bag prizes from Intel and Brave. Prize kit winners are announced daily on the BAT community Twitter, that's BAT underscore community, along with instructions for winners on how to collect their prize. All of the previous week's winners are also included here in the weekly BAT blog post. We are on day 8 of the promotion today, so we've got about 40 winners so far. I'm not going to read all of their Twitter handles aloud here on the Weekly Bat podcast, but if you think you might have been chosen and you missed your name, definitely check out the Weekly Bat blog post for the list of winner Twitter handles. If you've won and you have not been contacted yet, please send a PM on Twitter to bat underscore community to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Intel Gamer Days campaign so far. There are more prizes to be won from now through the end of August, so keep tweeting any Intel Gamer Days ads you see in Brave. Good luck and happy gaming. Up next, Bat Indonesia turns three this week. We cannot even begin to express our gratitude to the Bat Indonesia crew for their incredible contribution to our community over the past three years. From meetups, local and abroad, to workshops, school visits, talks, events, campaigns, podcasts, Bat Indonesia has done it all in the name of Basic Attention Token and Brave and shows no signs of slowing down. 
Thank you for encouraging people everywhere to be brave and to dare greatly as they join us on the journey toward a better web. A very special thank you goes out to Viking Karwur and Aljuno Kasi for leading the Bat Indonesia community. Through your hard work, support, and undying passion for the Bat and Brave mission, our global network of Bat and Brave believers grows stronger every day. Onward with the power of a thousand suns. In the blog post this week, we've included links to follow Bat Indonesia on Twitter, Brave Indonesia on Twitter. We've got the Bat Indonesia podcast linked. We've got Viking Car Wars personal Twitter, El Juno Kasi's personal Twitter. And we've also included some photo highlights of Bat Indonesia over the past three years. Up next, enter Tap Network's sweepstakes using Bat for a chance to win a pair of Apple AirPods Pro. Brave users with Uphold Verified wallets can now enter Tap Network's sweepstakes with Bat for a chance to win a pair of Apple AirPods Pro. Last week, Tap gave away a Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing New Horizons to one lucky winner. That was a totally sold out limited edition product, so it was a great win, and they've got new prizes coming every week. Other existing sweepstakes offerings include digital gift cards of your choice from hundreds of retailers, including amazing brands like Amazon, Walmart, GameStop, Nintendo, and more. To enter the sweepstakes, simply head over to brave.tapnetwork.io and choose the sweepstakes you want to enter. Enter as many times as you want. It costs less than one bat per entry. Winners are chosen by tap at random through a digital sweepstakes drawing system and will receive their digital gift card prize via email. If you happen to win a physical prize like the Nintendo Switch or the Apple AirPods Pro, tap can ship that wherever in the world you happen to be. If you haven't verified your Brave Rewards wallet yet, the Tap Network Marketplace provides a range of options for you to redeem your earned bat for digital gift cards, sweepstakes, and to support causes. This week in Sponsored Images. This week, Gemini, Purple, and AXX joined the list of brands to run sponsored images in Brave's new tab page. Gemini is a simple, elegant, and secure platform to build your crypto portfolio. Brave announced a partnership with Gemini in July to bring Gemini trading and wallet support to the Brave browser. Purple is an American comfort technology company based in Utah. It specializes in the direct-to-consumer sale of mattresses, seat cushions, back cushions, pillows, and platform bases. In addition, Crypto.com and BlockFi returned to the new tab page after the success of their previous sponsored images campaigns. Our growing list of new tab page sponsors includes Verizon, PayPal, Intel, Newegg, Western Digital, Chipotle, Khan Academy, Kudo Mobile, Tezos, Upland, and more. To learn more about becoming a Brave New Tab Page sponsor, visit brave.com slash brave-ads-waitlist. Brave Creator Spotlight, in partnership with Everipedia. Our first featured creator of the week is Lark Davis. Lark Davis is New Zealand's most popular investing in Bitcoin personality. He grew up on a small organic homestead, reading Mad Magazine, dreaming of space travel, and pretending to be Indiana Jones. Known for his articulate, entertaining style, Lark combines his political science background, critical thinking skills, and bright sense of humor to produce content that explores solutions to the corrupted world. Our second featured creator of the week is Michael McCrudden. For over five years now, Michael McCrudden and his team have produced Before They Were Famous, The Rich Life, After They Were Famous, and other various series on the world's most famous YouTubers, rappers, actors, models, comedians, athletes, and more. The Before They Were Famous YouTube channel has clocked over 3 million subscribers and over 850 million channel views. The channel works off suggestions from audience members for who to feature next. Of course, we have links to both creators' verified channels as well as their Everipedia articles in the Weekly Bat blog post. Client Updates This week, the Desktop Nightly channel graduated to version 1.14.57, the Desktop Dev channel jumped to version 1.13.79, the Desktop Beta channel progressed to version 1.13.78, and the Desktop Release channel progressed to version 1.12.114. Stay ahead of bugs and benefit from all of the latest updates and fixes by keeping your Brave browser updated to the latest version at all times. To update your Brave browser on desktop, go to brave colon double slash help. On mobile, if you don't receive updates automatically, you can manually update your Brave browser app from the Play or iOS app stores. News you should know. This piece is from Bankless. Investing in DeFi Paradigms 
by Charlie Noyes. What are the paradigms for investing in DeFi? Charlie is an exceptionally bright and thoughtful investor in crypto assets at Paradigm, one of the leading investment firms in the crypto space. We talk institutions, yield farming, and DeFi protocols. And then we get into one of our favorite subjects. Is ETH money? Or rather, does ETH need to be money in order to secure itself? What is the dirty little secret that many Ethereans and Bitcoiners don't admit? Why is moneyness and security two sides of the same coin? Why won't transaction fees secure Bitcoin? The episode goes from great to amazing. You won't find this depth of discussion anywhere else. Stay tuned to the very end to catch the conversation on economic security. The Tatiana Show, episode 271. All Things Blockchain with Bruce Fenton. Financial expert and crypto evangelist Bruce Fenton Financial expert and crypto evangelist Bruce Fenton joins Tatiana to talk about a variety of subjects, from life under lockdown in the live free or die state of New Hampshire, to how technology is changing the face of the workplace and the challenges of being an event organizer during the pandemic. Bruce discusses why current securities laws are a double-edged sword for investors, and what blockchain solutions currently exist that could make some regulations unnecessary and open up security trading to a wider business and investor audience. He explains why the current securities and exchange system is outdated and how cryptocurrency can help modernize it. This next piece is from Publish OX, Crypto Ramble, Privacy in the Time of Corona. Looking for something else to worry about in this time of quarantine? Here's a discussion on the erosion of privacy in the face of a pandemic, possible privacy-preserving solutions being thought up for issues such as HIPAA and contact tracing, and looking at the possible long-term consequences of reactive law enforcement. Privacy-preserving mechanisms include the use of public-private key cryptography to have pseudonymity, where healthcare data can be decrypted at the source but anonymized for other viewers. That's a wrap for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you would like to read the full stories whose headlines we cover on the podcast, be sure to read the accompanying Weekly Bat blog post. You can find that on batcommunity.org always, or if you're listening on YouTube, check the description box below the video for a link, and if you're listening on a podcast app or player, check the show notes. 